guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl star flames and in this video we're gonna talk about kim kardashian because this woman is about to capitalize on ye's pain and i believe that you know ye's wife mrs west bianca sensori i believe that she is fighting to save this moment i also do believe that there's conflicts behind the scenes at this point minor stuff nothing major between Kim, Ye, and Bianca. Because if you have been paying attention, guys, Kim has been throwing subliminals at Bianca, right? Kim has been wearing a lot of, well, posting a lot of boobs photo. The moment that I spoke about it, Kim deleted one of those photos and replaced it with, with something else, which is given the sense that she didn't even have the slightest idea that someone would be catching on to her little antics, right? And it appears as though Kim had sent Bianca a Skims gift. Bianca refused to wear it. And as such, Kim is clapping back, showing the consistent boobage on Instagram. And she's basically flashing, yes, yeah, well, saying that, you know, I can have your man anytime I want to. That's the energy that Kim Kardashian is given. So because of that, I genuinely believe that there's some kind of conflict behind closed scenes, right? Behind closed doors. And one of the major reasons for the conflict is so that Ye can come out giving Kim his energy because Kim believes that she cannot live without this man's energy, right? And Kim is willing to do anything even if it means having North on TikTok acting in a manner which she knows for, for a fact is going to irritate her dad. So Kim is out for trouble. She's up to absolutely no good. Even when she's telling the tabloids that she's happy for his relationship, uh-uh, that is so as to get people distracted from her shenanigans. But we're going to talk about it, okay? Now, there's a new season of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, which is about to be released. And I believe that Kim and her family is about to capitalize on Ye's pain. I believe that Kim is going to play the victim in all of this, even though it was Ye who was being canceled, right? I believe we're going to see her saying, people said, Kanye said this, you know, that's her thing, how she started crying because she loves to cry. And... How Kim will be portrayed in the season is that she has all of Ye's problems, irrespective of the fact that they have been divorced. And she is the one who had to be fixed in everything. That's how she will be portrayed in this season of Keeping Up With The Kardashians. So what you're about to see is Kim and her entire family capitalizing on this man's pain. Even though he has been going through a lot, still is going through a lot. She doesn't care about him, his mental health. She cares about the limelight, the attention that she can get, the views, the ratings, the money. She is even not even thinking, she's not even thinking about the negative ramifications that it can have in the long term on her kids. Because guess what? Whatever, whatever falls off Ye's shoulder falls on the kids. Whatever falls off Kim's shoulder falls on the kids, but she's not thinking long term. I believe that Kim's personality is we will cross that bridge when we get to it. She doesn't foresee so that she can forearm and foreprotect. She's basically narrow minded. Now, the media is saying that today, today they're saying this. Bianca has been around their kids. Kim ultimately just wants Kanye to be at peace. So if Bianca helps, with that then it's fine so it seems as though she thinks if you listen to that quotation bianca has been around their kids kim ultimately just wants kanye to be at peace so if bianca helps with that then it's fine so you're telling me that if bianca was just with Ye and they're seeing each other part-time like having a visiting relationship you would not be okay with that. Kim, I'm getting the sense that Kim thinks that Ye is her son and she has control. She has autonomy over him. And she's like, you know what? Since this girl, you know, your wife is helping you to stay calm, I am good with that. 
since she's helping you with the kids, I'm good with that. But if it was any otherwise, she would be gone. Do you get the drift? So it's given the sense that Kim is still trying to control this man's life and his personal choices, even from a distance. If she's not getting the opportunity to do so directly, she's going to push and enforce in order to do so directly. And these are the things that Kim has been doing over the years to make this man look crazy whenever she opens her mouth to do an interview the manner in which she talks about him the manner in which she represents him she is single-handedly responsible for many of the hate that this yay that yay has gotten but people are slowly begin to realize hey yay is not as crazy as i thought this is what people are now saying this is the most popular comment i've been seeing on social media for the past two weeks or so people are saying hey ye isn't as crazy as we thought this man is just not healed from the trauma of losing his mom even tasha k is stepping out now to speak out in support of ye many people are now apologizing to him and they're going back to look at past clips of where he said something brilliant and everyone believes that kim kardashian has been trying to suppress this man's truth all along now even people who don't agree with every single word that he has said they're saying there's one thing about him that you can tell and that's a fact that he's a very intelligent man and he does really well at foreseeing problems he can see danger ahead and when he talks about them people people often sees that as crazy but the truth is normally scary so people are seeing ye for who he truly is and not what kim had initially painted him to be remember she spoke about her peace you know, her safety, her security. And she did that from the months that he was being canceled. She was scared. At the Baby to Baby Award, she had to have extra security. In December, she was talking about feeling scared. But at the same time, while she was scared, painting Ye to be the next OJ, Ye was already married, off the radar, not talking to Kim, just insisting that he sees his kids. But Kim insisted on painting him to be a horrible demon. So what I'm saying is this, look for Kim to capitalize on this man's pain. And I believe that Bianca is there also looking, paying close attention to Kim's next move. And I believe that she's taking the necessary steps legally to ensure that Kim doesn't manipulate the media as to what she can control. Because remember that Bianca doesn't work with the paparazzi as Kim told us she does. But Bianca would have to get, you know, a PR to reach out to, you know, each media outlet to say, hey, this story that you're putting out is not factual. And once a media outlet hears that the story that you're putting out on this person is not factual and it's coming from someone that close to him, they would have to retract their statement or be prepared for a lawsuit. So I believe that Bianca in the background is doing a lot of work to dismiss a lot of Kim and her family lies. Because when I tell you prepare, be prepared for it, honey, be prepared for it. Kim is going to cause some kind of drama and paint this man to be a evil villain just for money, clout, and attention. But that's all I want to share in this video with you guys. Let me know what your thoughts are and give this video a big thumbs up. See you all next time. Bye guys.